This is the world's cheapest real ball pitching machine. For $159.99, what can you expect from the Heater Power Alley Pro? Now portability gets an A+. Everything you need fits in this small little box, weighs less than 15 pounds, easy to carry as far as you need to. Setup is easy, connecting just six clips and then screwing on the head. It only takes about a minute to set up. However, getting the correct angle of the machine height could take another minute or two. Now it claims it throws real balls up to 45 miles an hour. So let's see what it's got. Again, 34 and 35. 33. 6. Now, if you want an auto feeder, that will be an extra $39.99, bringing the total up to $199.98. Unfortunately, I thought I could just steal the auto feeder off my light ball machine because they look the same on the internet. So I don't have a perfect comparison. I think this one sort of the glue broke with it, probably vibrating too much. It's probably not built as heavy duty as the Power Alley Pro one. And it seems like The baseballs are a little too wide for this plastic, so they probably made the Power Alley one specifically for real baseballs. So if you do get it, don't use your light ball machine, probably order a new one. While I don't have one to compare, it says on the box it throws one every eight seconds, so it'll probably rush you every other pitch. So for me personally, I'd take every other pitch for a kid. Maybe they don't need to, but it's when that coach gets behind the L screen throwing rapid fire BP and you know you don't gain anything from it. <coughs> Oh no, it can also throw grounders. Whew. So for $200, is it worth it? Well, it should be worth it for a younger kid. Um, say they want to practice on their own. Maybe you have injuries from your playing day. You can't get it. You're not athletically inclined. Whatever it is, you know, a young kid learning the game, it can throw them shallow fly balls, which you have to load yourself. The auto feeder won't do that. Um, you can throw them ground balls and you can get some batting practice. Now, the batting practice, the pitches definitely are a loop, so it's not real good for older pitchers or older hitters. It's hot out here. And it probably throws harder if you're plugged into an outlet, and I have an extension cord as well that might be losing some power in there, but it only topped like 37 with a battery. So durability-wise, um, it's not going to hold up as well as its bigger siblings that have the metal casing. This is a heavier-duty plastic casing. But if I hit a ball with a Beezer bat that's straight back at it, you know, that's coming over 100 and, you know, it's not going to be good, right? You know, not, you know, I'm not going to durability test it, but, or maybe I should, but, you know, but if you're, if you're hitting the ball that hard, you should probably have a bigger machine. The uh, 
pro model would be better or the yeah the real baseball or the real baseball pro model would probably be better because it can throw up to 50 and it throws the pro version throws curveballs as well that also runs on a 300 watt or this is 330 watt battery um that's what i was using today but it should run on my 200 watt battery let's check real quick yeah The first one, this Flashfish 200 peak watt, um, I think it's 150 continuous. That's about the same wattage as the heater battery that they offer for this machine. But also, I have another, I think this is EBL, just another Amazon product, uh, 330 watt. This will run the bigger machines as well, the real baseball, and I believe the Pro. I don't have it, but you know, if they want to send it to me because I make their videos, that'd be cool. 200 watt was $130 and 330 watt, I believe was 180. Uh, those are both Amazon prices. I appreciate you guys watching. If you hit that subscribe button, that would mean a lot. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers. Then I can make a lot more videos.